interest equals principal times rate times time. You might be given an equation like this. Interest equals principal times rate times time. And the question will say solve for, I don't know, R. How would I solve that for R? Notice you have P times R times T. So you have a multiplication. The opposite to multiplication is always what? Division. So we're going to divide both sides. What do we divide by? If I'm looking for R, that means I have to cancel the P and the T. And the only way to cancel them is if I divide by them. So if I divide by P times T on this side, I'm going to divide by P times T on that side. Again, why are we dividing by P and T? So this P will cancel the, T, the P. This T will cancel the T. And what's left there? R equals interest over principal times time. If you remember from pre-algebra, if you have a rectangular shape like this, and this is the length and this is the width, we said if you were to build a fence around that, we call that the perimeter, is 2L plus 2W. And maybe I'll ask you to solve for L. You don't have to know where the equation came from. They're just going to give you an equation to solve for this. Since I'm looking for L, this is the only term that has L in it. So you want to make sure that term is on one side by itself and everything else on the other side. That means that 2W has to come to this side. There's no L in it. So P minus 2W equals 2 times L. Again, you always want to isolate the variable you're trying to solve. <coughs> we just did that. We isolated the L. There is no L here. Only right there. Now, that's a multiplication. What's the opposite to multiplication? So you've got to divide this side by 2 to make it L. And if you divide this side by 2, you better divide that side by 2. L equals P minus 2W divided by 2. <coughs> Let me take some equations and try to solve them. x plus 2y equals 5. Now I want to solve for y. Again, isolate the, the variable you're trying to solve for. I'm going to isolate the y. That means that x has to go there. So 2y equals what? I'll take that, 5 minus x, change side, change sign. It's a plus x. When you move, it becomes a minus. Next, I want to solve for y. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. y equals 5 minus x divided by 2. It's kind of hard to accept that. Well. Not really. How about this one? A equals one half x y z solve for z. The one half is bugging me. He said, "Does that know you?" The one half will bug me. I told you before. I don't like fractions. Is there a way, or is there anything I can do to get rid of that fraction? But, well, it's 0.5, but still, 0.5 to me is still a fraction. Might not look a fraction, but still a fraction. 
Can you get rid of that too, somehow? Besides taking the white out and erase it. Multiply it by two. Over yep. Multiply both sides by two. Two times A. What's two times a half? One. One. So it's gone. That looks a little bit better. No point 0.5, no half, it's gone. Now I'm looking for Z, this is a multiplication. I'm gonna divide this side by everything but Z, which means what? X times Y. Two A over X Y. Few more. H equals two times M minus two L. Solve for L. Okay. Multiply everything inside the parentheses by two. I'll I'll take that. Two M minus what? 4L. Let's look and see what L is. I see L here. Your goal is to isolate that term, the one with L in it. If you're looking for L, you want to make sure L by itself on one side. Well, the 2M is on the wrong side then. I got to take that 2M to this side. And now to solve for L, we're going to divide by what? Negative 4. The problem with that, you probably won't see that answer. That minus sign in the bottom, they might not like it. Me personally, I never like to see a minus sign in the bottom. So I tend to move it to the top. So I'll put this in parentheses like this, because I want to make sure it's minus the whole thing. When you have a minus on the bottom, we don't like it. You can either put it on the front or on the top. Well, if you put it on the top, that will change the signs here to what? So that'll be up negative h or the opposite. It'll be negative h, positive 2m. That's you're probably going to see. Or you might see the positive first, like 2m minus h over 4. It's the same thing. So I'm kind of, I think that's what the answer they're going to be looking for, not that one. Just a lot of people don't like to see a negative in the bottom. You know. So you can move it to the top, and if you distribute that, it turns to this, which is that one. Just a wild guess. I think that's what they're going to be looking for an answer. But I'm just really guessing here on that. To me, that looks like a better answer than having the minus on the bottom. But it just, I didn't see it like for homework or anything. I'm just assuming that's what they're looking for. Now, if you're not sure, click on show me an example. Go through on the bottom, look at the answer, and see how the answer on the bottom looks. If you see the bottom is positive, they probably want to change it to that look. Then change yours. So you'll know which way they want it. So for B.
Yep, distribute that. Again, I'm looking for B there. So I need to isolate that. C minus 3A, okay. I need to solve for 1B, not negative 6B. I got to divide by what? Negative 6. Again, that minus sign at the bottom, they might just make it a plus 6 and switch the signs of these. That will make it what? Negative 6, I mean negative C plus 3A. So that minus sign, they might bring it to the top and switch the signs on the top. If they like the positive first, that's 3A minus C over 6. I have a question. Yes. Three A. When you move it to this side, change side, change oh, sign, yep. right? And again, the reason the mathematical, if you want to see the math behind it, why we do it. You want to cancel that 3a from this side. That's a plus 3a. The only way to cancel it, if you subtract 3a from this side, because that's a plus. And if you subtract 3a, you got to subtract 3a from this side. What's 3a minus 3a? That's why it changes sign. So that's the reason why, actually, we change the sign. See if I can find something a little bit ugly there quickly. Make it a last one. I don't know if it's ugly enough, but. Solve for A. Not really that ugly, but multiply it. S equals A plus what's N times D? N D minus D times 1, which is D. Now you want to solve for A. Isolate A. That means this one has to come here. This one has to come with it here, too. S, what happened to the minus D when you bring it to this side? Plus D. Plus D. What happens to the ND plus ND when you bring it to this side? Minus ND, minus ND is equal to A. So if you get 3, 4, 5, or 20 of them, the process doesn't change.